Hey YouTube, welcome to Everyday Journey. Uh, let me start today off by uh, letting you know um, I'm trolling for for a few more subscribers just to just for the heck of it, and uh, and I'm somewhere around 50 or so, and so I've got a little challenge out there. If you want to go ahead and share this video, um, any other video for that matter, um, and get as many people as we can to subscribe to my channel, um, I'm gonna actually when it gets to 100 which is a low number, I'm going to take this expansion tank that I got uh, whenever I was working on somebody's hot water heater and it's got the trapped water inside of here. We're, uh, this water has been in here, well this, this thing's been in use for about seven years according to her and uh, it's got water trapped inside of here. I'm going to find a way to cut this thing open um, and pour this over my head. 100 subscribers, we could do it I know. Um, just, just for the heck of it, and we'll see what kind of nasty water comes out of this thing. So, uh, but for today, I'm going to take my expansion tank, and, uh, and this thing's still full of water here. I'm going to have to go dump it out, but I'm going to cut it open, um, and we're going to see how well it's made, you know, what it's made out of, see the insides of it, and then we're going to see if there's a way that possibly I could maybe prevent this thing from you know from the newer one from going bad um, but anyway it'd be neat to see what's inside of here I've never seen the inside of one so let you guys see it too so I'm gonna go take this dump it out and uh, cut it open and then uh, I'll bring it back in here and show you guys what it looks like on the inside Alright, since I don't want to damage the bladder, I'm going to cut over on this side where the water is. The, uh, and I'm going to cut a test hole because I don't want to damage the bladder any. So I'm just going to cut a test hole just to see where I can cut safely without damaging that. Just so we can see what made it fail, if we can. Alright, safety first. Got the long sleeves on, got the gloves, safety glasses. Let's get started. Well, it looks like it kind of goes the full length, so we're just going to have to be careful. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Keeping the gloves on because this thing is sure it's sharp. So let's open it up, see what we got. Hopefully I didn't damage it by uh, damage it with the grinder, although it's still wet, so I would think that the sparks really wouldn't have mattered. This is kind of interesting. It's, just, it's actually two pieces in here, it looks like. Um, ew, yummy. Oh, this thing is nasty inside. I am really not looking forward to opening up the other one and dumping it over my head. <laughs> and I'm not going to do anything special with it. I am going to take it, put a valve on it so that we can keep everything enclosed. I'm going to make put a few holes in it so it runs out quicker. And then, uh, then we're going to dump it. But you see the inside of this. This thing is gross. It smells horrible. So hopefully you guys don't get the, uh, 
in my case anyway, hopefully you don't get the, the 100 subscribers. So let's see why it's connected down here. I would not figure that it would be connected down here. Yes, though it kind of is. Um, so far, I'm not seeing the hole. Uh, this looks like pretty thick rubber, but it is rubber. I mean, it's not any different than an inner tube or something. Just a lot thicker. It's got a, a band around the center right here that I think is fusing together two pieces or holding together. And I'm not sure, I can't tell if it's metal. Let's see. Yeah, it's metal. Just wrapped in something because it's metal. It's it's magnetic. Um, but again, I mean it's it's attached down here where the where the water comes in. So this this tank actually fills up the entire inside. But I do not see any holes. That's strange. So, and I can't think of a way to keep, you know, to keep the other one from getting damaged. I do see a bunch of rust right here on this side of it, but that could be because this thing was sitting on its side. So, let's see if I can pull this loose down here. Yeah, I don't know. So really, whenever you push air in this, it's actually basically folding it this way, and then as the water fills up, it fills up this bladder. So I was wrong. It's not an air bladder per se, it's a water bladder. So, but I don't know how to test where it's leaking at, except for, quite possibly, to, I wonder if this will fit a water hose on it. Yeah, let's try that. It looks like it might. So I'll put a water hose on it and see if I can't fill it up here and see where it's leaking at. Alright, ran into a little bit of a problem. First off, sings uh, water hose is male and female, one on each end. Uh, and two, the threads on a water hose are not the same as the threads on here. So here's my fix. I've got some rubber going around here, going around a pipe that I've screwed onto this, and I've zip tied it, so maybe it'll build up enough pressure to be able to get is uh, get us a, a leak. We'll keep this part downhill, so if it leaks here, hopefully it won't affect what we see on, on the tank itself. So, turn on the water, see what we get. There we go, it's starting to fill up. And it keeps filling and keeps filling and keeps filling. Oh, I see where it's leaking. Let's see if we can see this. Can you see it right there on the inside? Here's a better view, sort of. But it's spraying out, hitting the front, and then just coming up here. So, I don't know. I don't think there's much we could have done about that. All right, let's see if I can pop it with this, just for the heck of it. If not, I'll get something better. Yeah, this is gonna be cold. Ah! <laughs> I wonder if I can get that in slow mo. Alright, that was fun. I appreciate you watching YouTube. Um, please please subscribe. Like I said, the other one of these that I've got, and like I said, this one was nasty, but the other one I've got, um, it's still got water and it's still sitting, been there for months now. And uh, when it hits 100, I don't care if it drops back down the next day, I'm making a video where I put all that water over my head. So, appreciate you watching. Uh, tune in for more shows about Everyday Journey. 
And uh, we'll see if we can't have a little more fun like this in the future. So y'all take care.